I think they'll continue to ask questions of these tech companies. They'll say, you know, what are you doing with users' data? How are you using it? And you'll continue to hear an apologetic tone from many of these tech companies. What I think the regulatory risk at the moment isn't so much coming from the US because we've heard a lot of... Uh, you know, comments made by President Trump saying he's going to punish some of these technology companies. We heard a lot of noise made from U.S. lawmakers around potentially introducing some new regulation. But we, ha as of yet, have not got any concrete idea of what those new regulations look like. The bigger regulatory risk for these U.S. technology companies still is coming from Europe. You've, of course, had the GDPR, the General Data Protection Regulation that came in earlier this year around data. But they're also discussing a number of other pieces of legislation, which include um, the Digital Sales Bill, which is some way still out. Uh, at the moment, but also a, a new um, law called the Platform to Business Law, which could force app stores, search engines, uh, hotel booking sites to actually reveal how they're ranking these uh, hotels or, or search results on their websites. And that could be, uh, and that could open another can of worms for some of these companies if it is found that they're perhaps manipulating any of these results, as some of the allegations have been at the um. moment. So a lot of noise at the moment, um, and very legalistic as well. I'd imagine a lot of this will go through a, a very long, strenuous, and rightly so, legal process as well. Is anyone trying to put numbers on the hit to revenue and profits from these investigations? Because let's be honest, that's really all that investors care about at the end of the day, is whether it's going to hit the bottom line. No, you're absolutely right, Steve. I think all we've seen so far is noise. We, because we haven't got any concrete idea about what this legislation looks like, the problem is a lot of the analysts, a lot of the investors can't, uh, have an idea. Even with GDPR, we had a lot of estimates, but when, we, when it came down to it, we saw there wasn't a huge impact on the likes of Google, but Facebook took a hit, and we saw that in the quarters that followed GDPR. We saw some of the numbers of users fall down, especially in Europe. Isn't it hard to ascertain the number or the hit there could be to profits because it's around the growth story, the future growth story? To me, it seems as though some of the ambitions could be hampered as regulators get up to speed with the implications. And I'll give one example. We were talking about it yesterday around Amazon, which has made a filing for a jewelry, its own brand of jewelry. And now there are concerns with the regulators that it's using all the data it's got from selling other goods in the marketplace to then come up with very successful brands of its own. You can see how there's a conflict of interest. But regulators are only just catching up now, saying, well, you have the ability to direct customers down this path. Then you're getting all the information. You can direct them this way, where you make another profit. So you make a profit at every turn from the customer data. I mean, that is an issue around the future growth story if regulators realize that they want to stop that yeah. action. And, and you see that a lot with technology companies. The regulators are always somehow uh, behind. Uh, but I think, yeah, the future growth story, you're right, is if the regulators can find a way to regulate data uh, and how these companies use it, that could really impact the, the growth story for the uh, future. But the problem I see right now is how do you regulate data and the use of it, just given the large scale uh, you know, use of this by technology companies? That's the big question here for regulators. Hey everybody, it's Hadley Gamble from our new CNBC Middle East Bureau in Abu Dhabi. Thanks for stopping by. Now to watch more, you can try one of the videos that just popped up on your screen. And don't forget to subscribe.